All right, so if you're watching this, you probably want to know a little bit about Clint Eastwood's new film, Gran Torino. Well, here's what I can tell you. It's been a dream of mine ever since I was a little kid to work with Clint Eastwood. And when I heard about this newest project, which will most likely be the last film that he acts in, well, I had to work on it. What I can tell you is basically, yes, it is a Dirty Harry film. And in the opening sequence of this film, it's derived from the written opening sequence of Sergio Leone's planned Leningrad in that the, the shots work essentially the same kind of way. Uh, thematically it's the same, but in a, a dirty, hairy kind of sense. So the film starts out um, in the clouds above the Golden Gate Bridge. The, the bridge is clouded over, you can't see anything, and we'll show you some storyboards of these things as we go through. But um, basically the camera flies through the clouds until we see that we're floating above the Golden Gate Bridge. It's about midday. As the camera comes down, we see that traffic has stopped on the Golden Gate Bridge. Something's happened. Um, at this point, it's not obvious, um, but something, something's amiss. As the camera comes down further, we start to see a lone character walking along the bridge. Yeah, so this is a big, long helicopter shot coming down. We're seeing this character walking along the bridge and it comes down closer and we can we can tell that it's Clint. He's um, Harry Callahan you know? and it's great because he's he's walking um, he's walking southward on the bridge he's got his 44 Magnum in hand Clint's gun will be the Model 29 um, so from the Western Model 29 uh, during this introduction we get the classic Dirty Harry theme music and it comes down in the camera goes ahead of him and turns around towards him and this is all one floating uh, probably um, technocrane shot at this point it's um, been more from a helicopter shot to a technocrane shot and keeps going in closer Clint pulls up his 44 Magnum and the camera goes inside of the gun about two seconds later we hear boom and it's the, the firing of the gun and we see on the screen, Dirty Harry. And basically that's all I can tell you. But um, I'm really excited about it and it's great to work on this film. And I, I think everyone will really enjoy what, what, what we have planned.